Hey there peoples, I am Blunty, and in the previous video I answered some viewer requests by showing you a comparison between the PS4's internally captured gameplay video versus the same gameplay recorded externally. And in that video I mentioned I kind of MacGyvered a workaround I slapped together to get around the currently copy protected HDMI output from the PS4 that blocks recording using normal external capture devices. Now Sony have promised an update to permit this function but for right now it's a no-go and they've not said when this update will come. So obviously after mentioning that I then got some requests for a guide on exactly how I managed to circumvent the copy protection on the PS4's output to get the game footage I was showing you guys. So here I am to show you exactly how I got the PS4's video output recorded and how I worked around the HDMI copy protection called HDCP. Well, like I said, it's a bit of a workaround, but it works pretty well. So here's the setup. I've got the PS4's HDMI output running into a generic HDMI splitter, a powered type so we don't risk any degradation of signal. One output from that is winding off direct to the TV, as per usual. The other branch of the split goes to a capture device. In this case, I use the AvaMedia ExtremeCap U3, which I recently looked at in another video. It's launching in the first week of December, and its best little tricks are 1080p 60 frames per second capture, and a lovely lag-free display on the computer, which is very, very handy. But you can also do this trick with other capture devices. For example, I've tested this technique with full success with the popular Live Gamer Portable device also. So coming out of the capture device, we go into the USB of the computer, and as you can see on the screen here, despite the PS4's HDCP protection, we do actually get a preview video feed in the capture software. But as soon as you try and hit record, you'll get the most annoying error message in the world of game capturing, telling you to stop being naughty. But we do obviously have a live feed here, so all we need to do is figure out how to capture that somehow. And the answer to that problem is Fraps. See, it turns out if you full screen the capture software's preview window, you can then use Fraps, which if you're not familiar with it, is a popular piece of screen capture software for PCs, very often used by PC gamers to capture their PC gameplay. So we can use Fraps to capture the preview screen, and because Fraps applies no compression of its own, you actually get a very clean capture. Be warned though, because Fraps does record uncompressed, you will wind up with very, very large video files. So make sure your destination drive has plenty of room. I use an external hard drive, which is entirely dedicated exclusively for gameplay video capture. It's a terabyte in size. It's uh, Western Digital, I think. And to make sure it can keep up with the huge data transfer rates of video capture, and so that it doesn't choke off or cause to skip frames, it is a USB 3.0 device. Now, something else of note. With this technique, you are limited to the maximum resolution of your computer screen because that's what you're capturing. In my case, this laptop's resolution is 1600 by 900, which, of course, is just shy of the native 1080p output from the PS4. But it is close enough to get some really nice-looking gameplay, and it'll do just fine until Sony sees fit to bestow upon us the magical system update that will deliver on their promise of unprotected game output over HDMI, so we can finally use our own choice of video capture devices completely unrestricted and without the need of sort of multi-layered little trickeries like I've just shown you here. But that is the trick to it. It's pretty straightforward and quite logical, so I'm probably not the first to come up with a system like this. In fact, I think I'd be surprised if I were. But this is the solution I came up with on the day that I absolutely needed to get some footage captured, and I'm just making this little walkthrough because you guys asked me to show you how I did it. Hopefully it'll be handy for at least a few of you out there. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.